Might as well break that down. Actually, I figured I better be working on something or the garage gang would throw me out. And just looking down in this carcass right here. Rust. A lot of rust. So immediately... Uh, Spray something on it. Yeah, I bet you got more of them you have. Live there by herself with all them dogs. Them, them, them dogs down yonder on the side of the road, though, in the pen with them cows, them's amazing. Them two big old dogs on the way from school. Out there all the time. I think they're sheep dogs. I think there's sheep's in there. And this right here is a factory exhaust gasket that would have went down here on this end. And it is a metal clad gasket. That's original to the engine. Couple of good parts. This could be a good crankshaft right here. You know, I think this is a 1937 also. Could, very well could be. It's green and it's got the little uh, little cylinders. on that one you're putting together? Oh, yeah. I can ever get it together. I think we'll do that before we take that in apart. Because it's all together. And you've got a couple of likely candidates over it looks like. Is that stuck? The, uh, the pistons? I think, yeah. Yeah, looks bad in there. I uh, probably have to break something. Mm. Put that pipe on there. It's just raising me up. Hmm. Let's put it over in the vise. No, uh, 
It's time to get this engine running. You know what? Uh -oh. And all I needed was a gas tank. Oh, do you have that plug? Yeah, I got sidetracked in here. I kind of think it's going to start up really good, really quick. No, that's not it. That's for a pulley. You know, I should ought to answer some questions about them guys on the smokestack. You know, they've been referring to some stuff I've been doing. And this engine right here, uh, you know, me and you ought to tell the people out there in radio land about this engine because this will be the last video, I think, because I think it's going to start and run. As it should be in some places they should not be. And to take us on a side trip about them M. McCormick Deering and International one and a half horsepower, three six or whatever it would be. But the one and a half in particular, the side cover, as we was talking about yesterday on, on Harry's old engine website, and mentioned it this morning, it's good, you ought to read that. The question was, did they, did you need a gasket between that side cover on both sides? Both housings are metal to metal, uh, machined that way with a dial pin in it. And there's a reason you don't put a gasket there is because you want that to be a precise measurement from side to side so everything will line up. You start putting gaskets in there and you tighten it up and you run the engine and the gasket moves a little bit and I mean you're relying on them dial pins anyway but do you agree Lodge? I do. Yep. Y'all check back next week and we'll get back to this Maytag right here.